everyone, Sergio here. Well, in this video, I will um, show you how to create uh, a custom ship in Novus Eterno. Well, first of all, you need uh, some buildings. Uh, this is the list the list with all the buildings in this uh, in this alpha phase, and uh, you basically will need a warehouse, okay, a factory, a shipyard and a space <coughs> all right and you wonder what each building does well uh, also a mine not to get five buildings okay so how does it work first of all the mine will give you resources common resources and common resources and Rare resources, I suppose. Ca yeah, rare. All right, and you will deposit these resources in the warehouse. Uh, from the warehouse, the factory will produce components for the ship you want to build. But first, you must design a ship. You must create a design of a ship, uh, which you will multiply and will build in masses to attack your enemies and to defend your planet. So first things first, we go here and from here we can manage every sector on this planet, you know, <coughs> and I'm gonna go to the shipyard. And here I can select a ship design here, but I have none, so I cannot select any. So I will create a ship design by clicking on this button, ship designer. All right, now I am here. Uh, you can see different tabs, but first of all, you must select a hull. Uh, this hull, uh, this Corvette MK1 is uh, selected from the start. You can let it be or you can select another one. So there are different types of hulls, uh, cheaper, more expensive, but the, exp the more expensive the hulls are, it will cost you more. Um, you will have more space. You can put more weapons on that on that ship, and it will increase the damage and also the resistance in combat of that ship. So it's uh, up to you, depending on your economy. All right, your economy says everything about your army. A strong economy means strong ships and strong army. I'm gonna select, for example, a Drad North, with, uh, which costs 470 CP. I can add 14 weapons, 2 engines, 2 shields, 3 utilities and 1 bay. Now, this Corvette MK1 can only have two weapons five engines because it relies more it relies more on speed and well also for exploring the map that's the cor corvette form so only if you want to explore choose this one uh one shield one utility one bay you can see the difference you know the corvette can only have two weapons the dreadnought 14 so there is a huge difference and well let's select this hall i selected it now let's go and add some weapons here's a full list uh only because it's an alpha <coughs> i can see all this but when the game starts for real you will have only few weapons you have to discover more to research to find your perfect weapon so let's add some of this in the front. I will add some of it just to be sure. All right, all right, all right. Proteus, and they're also cheaper and more expensive. This from the top are a bit more expensive and deal a bit more damage. 
I don't even know what each weapon is good, each weapon is good for. Uh, so I cannot tell you. But, but, but. Let's go to the engines. You can see the engines have different statistics. And uh, you must choose the one that fits you best. I will choose this one with speed 20 and rotation 8. Uh, uh, 200, I meant, not 20. Speed 200, acceleration 30, deceleration 15, and rotation 8. <coughs> the rotation is basically how the, the ship rotates on on the battlefield. On blah, blah, blah. And another 560 turbo heading. Alright, now at the shield section, I have nothing because I have to research those. Utilities, um, offensive, offensive drop droids are for are for capturing planets, and the FTL is to travel with high speeds uh, between galaxies, between solar system galaxies, etc. So I will equip this with an offensive troop droid and two FTLs so basically I will be able to capture planets and travel with high speeds now the base base are have different um, different uh, purposes the supply cargo bay uh, offensive troop transport fighter bay light cargo bay <coughs> I can only tell you about the supply cargo bay you can carry supplies from one planet to another make exchanges you know stuff like that uh, to exchange resources between you and your enemies uh, your allies your neutral uh, neutral races whatever you prefer the offensive troops transport basically you transport ships and you make them drop on another planet the fighter bay I don't know what does it do there's not really a description about it I didn't yeah, also the light cargo bay, I think. I think this also allows you to transport resources. Common, common, whatever. <coughs> so, let's put a supply cargo bay, for example. No, the supply cargo bay, sorry. The supply cargo bay is for um, when you travel for high distances the supply cargo bay will ensure that your staff won't run out of supplies so you can travel higher distances without worrying about not having enough supplies and your crew will die or something like that and the light cargo bay is basically for transporting goods from one planet to another from your planet to trade with another planet, another ally, neutral, or whatever he is. And that's kind of it. So I will go with the supply cargo bay. And now click on save. After you went through all those tabs, let's put the name Conqueror. Okay, because it's a beautiful name. It also has a meaning. Now, after you created that, you basically go to the ship uh, shipyard. You select the design by clicking here. What? Okay, it um, it takes a few seconds to to refresh and see the design here. 
as you can see I still have the design here conquer come on it's already created I, I have to wait until it appears here so excuse me one second all right so I can see it conquer we select it and here it is then we click build and it's queued for <coughs> being built let's queue some more all right as you can see 10 conquerors will be built now what's gonna happen if we go to the factory you can see that components for for that ship for my conqueror ship are being constructed you know in order to my ship to be built I need to make the components first and another thing that you should know is that it's good to have warehouses because you won't have to wait until you build the components basically that's why you wait here until your ship gets built because you have to wait for your components to be built but if you store the, the components you will make the ships very fast almost instantly and it's very good when you are fighting a war when you are in a close battle to spam a lot of ships and get rid of your enemy <coughs> all right so in the factory the components for the ships are built and at the spaceport after one ship is built uh, they will be sent to the spaceport basically if I go to this view there are no plan uh, no ships orbiting there are no ships orbiting around my planet neither in space just because they uh, my my ships weren't launched in space and I have to launch them in space and for that I need a spaceport basically I select the ship and then I say launch and has disappeared it's in space now. also if I don't want to do this every time a ship gets built you simply click on this uh, auto launch button and automatically the ship will be launched in space and here's my ship this is it the conqueror you want a better look beautiful huh? the engines as you can see this is the ship that I built looks very incredible uh, the other ship the second ship over there was automatically launched in space because I selected that option so yeah looks great the details are amazing awesome so now um, well that's all you have to know <coughs> about creating a ship and launching it in space that's just it well thank you very much for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos with um, novels eternal i hope you enjoyed it see ya